Alright, go ahead. I don't know what the hell is going on, but if you look outside, it's like God messed up the color balance on his camera. Everything is orange. It's weird. It's like a sepia tone. Like somebody photoshopped my life and put it in sepia tone. We got a don't get it. We got a bad case of the 1950s going on out here. Yeah, it's like, it's <laughs> not really like, I don't even know how to explain it. You just gotta just look at this nonsense. Yeah, this is the, this is exactly how it looks outside. And this is weird because, like, I open my eyes, I can feel it in my eyes. I can feel the dust collecting on my eyeball. <laughs> I just want to go inside. Go for graves. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm out on a story. We're going to the IP police station to promote, you know, good morale and welfare from us to the Iraqis. We're with the uh, Iraqi army. They're escorting us around. So we're inside talking to the IPs. We come outside because my stuff was done. So I let them do their meeting. I come outside, and there's a group of people and an Iraqi woman screaming at some Iraqi army guy. And it turns out I had a translator maybe three feet from me. He said, oh, she's screaming, saying her husband's going to hit her. He's been beating on her and stuff. And then the very last thing she says is, will you do something about it? Will you hit him? Instead of weighing what he should do, the Iraqi army guy just went, eh, Walks up to the dude, butt strokes him in the face, breaks his nose, all the shit. The guy falls down, scurries off. They all start laughing and having a good time. She leaves, probably got her ass whooped later on for that. But I personally got to watch the Iraqi army butt stroke an Iraqi civilian in the face. <laughs> <It's recording. laughs> so, anyway, let me tell you about the Photoshop dick story. First ID rolls in, and they wanted, as every unit that comes in, especially garrison units, they wanted their own emblems on everything. They want big red one, their patch on all the fucking T-walls and stuff. And they want their own emblem to signify USD South. That's what we are now. We change from MND South. Every time somebody new comes in, we have to change the name of everything. So what ends up happening, they come to their resident graphics guy, which for some reason is me. And they have this thing, it says MNDI, Multinational Division, and it's got the same thing up in Arabic on the side. So I go ahead and change all that up, say USD South, change the Arabic on it, get one of the interpreters to do it. It's got this like Iraqi griffin, can't think of the name of it at the moment, but it's got an Iraqi griffin in it. And it's got these two leaves, two branches on the side, and I just leave all that stuff alone. Make a long story short, it looks like this. Yeah. So, what ends up happening is I turn this in and the Master Sergeant, who was requesting this, brings it back and he says, Hey, Sergeant Major wants you to put a dick on this. Now, <laughs> it's very weird to be told this when you're already staying a little bit later than you expected to be because you're having to do some graphics work and I had to pull, I had to do a lot of magic on this thing because it was just a JPEG that I had to change. And so I'm not fully processing when somebody says the sergeant major wants you to put a dick on this. So I asked for a clarification. It, does this dick need to be dragging on the ground? Does it need to be bouncing? Should I make an animated gif or something like that of a swinging dick? And he, the guy looks at me like I'm fucking crazy. And he says, no, you just need, like, you, if you look at the bottom of a horse or a cow or something, or a bull, not a cow, but, and you see it when they're not excited, it's just kind of a little, little bump down there. And I say, so you want me to Photoshop an unerect penis pocket on a griffin? Apparently, the last time they had, they had this thing, it got Photoshopped out because somebody got really insulted by it. So they wanted me to Photoshop it back in. So I had to spend about an hour photoshopping and tweaking a dick on a griffin. And in fact, the man, the smash sergeant was standing behind me at times, telling me I'm doing it wrong. Telling me that I'm putting the dick on backwards. So, when my children ask me what I did during the war, I'm going to fucking lie.
Final thoughts. We're now we are now back in Basra after twenty hours of not sleeping and trying to get onto a fixed wing. Final thoughts of Talil. You're three weeks up in Talil. Well, I didn't puke on the on the plane ride, so that was a plus. I got two hours of sleep in that tent, so I was pretty well rested, I guess. Final thoughts. It's not too bad. I mean, it's got good facilities and stuff, but I'd rather be here personally. There's just some people up there you just don't want to deal with. Yeah, we won't mention any names, but you know who they are. I do. See, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right, Sergeant Horton, how does it feel to be a complete homosexual? <laughs> Look, not yet can we say that, all right? We're we have to wait until Admiral Mullins allows us. We're getting close Seriously. enough. Final thoughts on uh, Adder. So you, uh, second time up there. I've now spent effectively two months off of Basra. I love going out. I love doing stories. It's one of my... It's one of the reasons why I love this job. I love doing it in Afghanistan, but I swear to God, if I have to go back to Talil and deal with some of the people up there again, I'm not going to say that I'm going to commit suicide, but some people might end up dying. <laughs> no, we can't say that anymore because I didn't want to jail for that. Um, I would not appreciate going back to Talil again, unless it was with a completely different unit, like the 41st or something. All right. But I'm glad to be back. Sweet. Now let's document this haircut real quick. <laughs> the the unevenness. So we'll try to take a look at this. Look up. The fact that <laughs> you could mess up something as simple as a buzz fade. Dude, this is why you don't trust. This is what we don't trust the Iraqi police. Why would I trust them with my haircut? How does that happen? I don't know. Maybe it's high on or something. 